What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to She's a Gents YouTube channel. I'm Danielle Cooper. And before we get started, I just want to say two things. One, thank you for joining me on my channel. Two, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, where I'm going to be offering you guys fashion tips and a little bit of travel with me and my partner, because I know you guys like to see what we're doing on our journeys. So today we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of fashion. I am androgynous or masculine presenting, depending on how you want to categorize it. Androgyny is basically when your fashion is not really feminine or masculine. But for the purpose of this video today, we're going to be talking more about masculine presentation. So I know there are things in your closet that you love and probably look amazing on you, but there's those other pieces that by now, you should just get rid of them. The trend is over. It probably should have never happened. Just get rid of it. Number one, spray on skinny jeans. Need I say more? No, honestly though, we need to do away with spray on skinny jeans. Masculine presenting women. An alternative to the spray on skinny jean is your traditional skinny jean, a slim cut jean, or a straight leg jean. But let's go back to the skinny jean. I know that you want that more sleek, clean, tight look. It's not the spray-on. We've already established that. But if the men's skinny jeans don't work, then go for the women's. I wear women's jeans. All of my clothing, here you go. One, two, three. All skinny jeans for women. So just switch over. I know the pockets are a little bit smaller, but that's okay because we have other ways around that. Our jacket, our backpack, our, our whatever. But just get rid of the spray-ons. So opposite of the spray-on skinny jean, which brings me to the second item that we need to get rid of, is the oversized baggy jean. Women, we don't have junk. There's no reason for our pants to be that big. So let's get rid of the baggy jeans that are falling off of our behinds because it's not flattering. We can get what we want accomplished with a slim cut, you know, like I said, either a slim jean or a straight leg jean if you don't really want that super tight fit. Here goes a few options. Bam, bam. Number three. We have to do away with these huge oversized watches. Like, why is your bezel this big? It just, it just doesn't make sense. We have skinny wrists, we have small wrists. It, it doesn't look flattering with your look, especially if you have a really clean, sleek streetwear look or a suit look. Don't get a bezel that is over like 36 millimeters. It, it just doesn't fit our skinny wrists. Number four, I know some of you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I just gotta be honest. Androgynous and masculine presenting women, we have to do away with the dapper idea or look of a bow tie and suspenders. Ladies, come on. Why are we still wearing a bow tie with an Oxford shirt and suspenders and chinos? That look is not saying, hey, I'm out here. It's more so saying we're still in college, we're still young, we haven't yet matured. I'm not saying not to wear a bow tie or suspenders, but change the way you're wearing it. Here goes a couple examples of how to wear your bow tie and or sus suspenders that is cleaner, sleek, and just edgy and modern, all right? So let's change the way we're looking at our outfits. Now let's talk about my final point. It is the one that almost defines what She's a Gen is. That is your suit. Women, we have to fix how we're wearing suits. If you cannot fit a men's suit, do not buy a men's suit. I know that might come off as harsh and some of you might not like to hear that honest truth, but it is what it is. I used to be somebody who wore men's suits until I figured out, look, they just don't look good on me. One, their arms are too big, the body is too big, the pants is too big. It does not matter how or where you buy it from. It just does not look good. The one way to fix that though is this, either take it to a tailor and get it constructed so it fits your body shape, but the one thing with taking some men's suits to the tailor that you just cannot fix is the fact, the fact that they were built for a man. So you might actually mess up the construction of the suit by trying to alter it so that it fits you. So the alternative to wearing a men's suit is getting a custom suit or tailoring a woman's suit. Now, some of us can't afford a custom suit, and I totally get that. But what we do have is alternatives like women's suits from places like Wild Thing. They make masculine presenting, androgynous styled suiting that is meant for the body and shape of a woman. So if you can't fit a man's suit, if you can't afford to get something custom made, or if you want to get a man's suit and still isn't going to look right getting it tailored, then we have to find the places like Wild Fang and other outlets that have suits just for us. Now, 
Thank you. I hope you guys don't hate me for all of those call outs. But look, I want to be honest with you guys. I don't want to just give you looks and put them together so that you can see what I'm wearing. I want to be able to give you guys suggestions on how to best put an ensemble together, the do's and don'ts of fashion, trends that are going out of season that we need to let go of, and those pieces in our closet that we need to let go of. So if you like what you heard, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below about what you guys want to learn more about. Until next time, I love you guys.